All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Arakakwadash. A double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone, and a sincere Shalom to Yahweh bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. And now, Lord willing, this lesson will be entitled, The White Stone, man. It is uh, Revelation 2 and 17. It reads, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh, so immediately we understand that it's speaking of who, man? It's speaking of the elect men. A <clears throat> really the elect. You know, the 144,000 and the one third. You know, but we understand that because it says to him that overcometh. A, and those that are overcometh, a, they're going on, they're only going to be able to be over uh, overcome the 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 the, the plagues, the evil, a, and ultimately be saved, a because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai found them blameless. And that's what the scripture is going to get into. It says, to him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna. Right. Which symbolizes what? The, the wisdom, man. It says, and I will give him a white stone. And ultimately, it's going to be salvation. Because a uh, overcoming a this, this um, ultimately, the last enemy, as the scripture says, is death. And we understand we beat uh, or defeat death. A and Esau, a by, by uh, living according to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shai and not giving in unto the flesh, man. Because those that give in to the flesh, they will partake of the second death. And those that are faithful throughout the whole and to the end, as the scripture says, a to him will the Lord give um, salvation to, man. It says, to him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna and will give him a white stone and in the new stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth it, right? <clears throat> Now, when we go into the white stone, the white stone, and we're going to get into it, white ultimately means uh, purity, you know, to be blameless, to be spotless. You know, as the scripture says, no guile. As a matter of fact, I'm going to grab that real quick. Is that a revelation as well? 14 and 5. It says, and in that's like it, start at 4. These are they which were not defiled with women, and it's not speaking of a physical woman or physical women. It's like it's speaking of philosophies, man. You know, strange women as 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 King Solomon spoke of, man. All right? They were not defiled with women. So uh philosophies. And it says, For they are virgins, right? These are they, and that's not speaking of physical virgins either, man. You know, a hey, we're we're um betrothed unto Yahweh Shai, man, the 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 bride. You know? So one that's a virgin isn't in the, the philosophies of the strange women. They're not they're not uh giving in into the idols and the 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 philosophies of of uh you know the heathen a i.e. Christian uh, example Christianity uh being a Muslim you know um you know Buddhist Jake uh five percenter everything everything under the sun except being a child of Yahweh Shemar Rashad man um continuing it says these are they for they are virgins. <clears throat> These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh and unto the Lamb. And understand it goes back to the Allah Hayim. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh. And that's because what the blood of Yahweh Bashim al Shai covers them, meaning what their sins have been forgiven. So that's all because of Yahweh Shai being that ultimate and last sacrifice, man. And his blood covering them for the atonement of their sins. Not the whole world. Let's grab another precept. <clears throat> it's coming from the book of Daniel 12. And 10. And it reads. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So many are being purified and cleansed and refined, right? Made white, meaning what? Pure, holy. I'm going to grab another precept. This is, um, I think that was Revelation 7 that I read, right? Nope, this is Revelation 7. And I'll start at 13. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? Right, and you can also we read of um, you know the ceremony uh, in Second Edges. Matter of fact, let's go there.
<clears throat> Second edge is two. And uh I'll start at 43. And in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest, speaking of Yahweh Shai. And upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me. These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh. Now are they crowned, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Now are they crowned and receive palms. And then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowned them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Hey, so right there, you know, those are the same ones. As it says, 40, take thy number, O Zion. Um, just like it. And sh yeah, take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. Those are they that are written within the Lamb's book of life. So. I'm going to finish this out in 14, and I'm going to go back to Revelation, um, the white stone. It says, they came, these are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Right, so it shows forth that these are the same ones that uh, are blameless. These are the same ones with no guile. These are the same ones whom Yahweh Shai will save, right? So going back unto um, the white stone. Tribulation. In 17, <clears throat> he that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna and will give him a white stone and in the new and in the stone, a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth it. All right. And that's not saying no man knows the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Stone. It says, in the ancient courts, G5586, in the ancient courts of justice, the accused were condemned by black pebbles and the acquitted by white. So understand that what Yahweh Shai is a judge, judgment was given unto him, right? Meaning what? The elect will receive the white stone. They're going to receive the white stone because they're going to be acquitted, man. They're not going to be condemned as the as the the rest of the world man when you go into second edges what's that uh 1665 it says in their sins were their accusers hey well they'll receive the black stone man the black pebbles <clears> hey <throat> while well, the elect will receive the white stones so it's the act of condemning versus acquittal right hey because the elect have that thawa as is spoken of in ezekiel 9 and 4 now now let's let's show you know, some acquittal, man, or uh, some unacquittal, something that won't be acquitted. When we go into the book of Nahum 1, I started too. Yahweh is jealous and the Lord revengeth. Yahweh by Shemel shall revengeth and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. A, hey, and it's not just E. E just ain't, uh, ain't the only enemy, man. The scripture tells us that judgment is going to first start at the house of Israel. You have Israelites that are enemies. Look at look at who gave up Yahweh Shai. Them was Jake, man. Them was Israelites. So they're going to do the same thing unto his men today. And the Lord said he re reserveth that wrath for his enemies. That's why he's created the scourges for these, for these niggas, man. Hey, as the scripture say in the book of Jeremiah, the dogs to tear, the fowls of the air to pluck, the sword to slay. Jake has as as judgment coming for them, while the elect has a the white stone to be given unto him. It says the Lord is slow to anger and great in power, and will not at all acquit the wicked. Meaning what? You get the black stone and the black pebble. The Lord Yahweh Bashimel Shai hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. 
And that's the point, man. Hey, Lord willing, we are of that number of the elect, man, where we could receive the white stone and endure unto the end, man. He that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. Also, what? And your patience possess your souls, man. We're hoping and praying, you know, that Yahweh Bashim al Shah allows us to fight the good fight of faith unto the end, man. A, and not receive of that MOTB. Because anybody that receives of that MOTB, A, the MOTB is the physical CH to the IP, man. Anybody that receives that mark, as it's spoken of in Revelation 14 and 9, A, will receive of that thermonuclear fire, man. The second death, as it's spoken of in the scriptures. You know? So, A, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the body. I want to give all praise and glory and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Arakakodash. A double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And a sincere shalom to Yaakim bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. Shalom.